A wreath for the uncle she was too young to remember, but whose legacy remains strong in her family and her community. We hold our warriors in high esteem. Joe Poussette is remembered today as a Stony warrior, the only person from Stony Nakoda First Nation to serve in the Second World War. Barely out of his teens, Poussette was a slight young man, just five foot three and a half inches and no more than 125 pounds. But big in heart and uh, bravery, I guess. Joe Poussette was shipped overseas to fight with the Royal Winnipeg Rifles in Normandy. Poussette and his infantry unit fought some of the most seasoned German soldiers. They won the battle at Falaise, but they lost young rifleman Joe Poussette. You ask one question and then everything opens up. Author Anne Gaffiak ran across Poussette's name when she was turning the wartime scrapbook of an Okotoks woman into a book. Over two years, she gathered enough about Poussette's life and death to fill four pages. And he wanted to fight for Canada. He wanted to, to do his part. Seven decades after his death, there is irony that Poussette, a survivor of residential schools, would so willingly serve the country that discriminated against him in law and practice. He didn't stay at home feeling for, sorry for himself or stuff like that. He, he stepped out of it and went off to war. His family holds dear one of just few mementos they have, a cherished letter he wrote home from France. How is everything around the reserve? Joe Poussette's story is passed on to the next generation every year at Remembrance Day, including by his niece, who's also a school counselor and community elder. Uh, our kids need somebody to look up to, to be brave as he was. The stony warrior who made the ultimate sacrifice for Canada. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Stony Nakoda, First Nation.